Hey guys, my name is Crystal Fontanez and I am your host for Authitude. Today I want to talk about the ways of being a writer and an author at the same time. Becoming a writer is hard, but also becoming an author is even harder. Because writers, we write just about everything. Authors just write books and stories and poetry. Um, and we also have to look at the manuscript and self-edit as much as we can and then find beta readers to help you along the way to see fresher eyes on your progress, your work in progress. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have a good book. We would have a mess of a thing. So today, I want you guys to grab a paper and jot, jot down what I have to say. Okay, one, I think the best way to start off writing is just by writing. You can grab a journal, you could grab a piece of paper, or you could just AI your your work by speaking it out loud, recording yourself, and AI will put it into words and correct you somehow. That because now we have AI, now we can we can have a little help, and then there's grammar. Grammarly. Where you have your dictionary, your Oxford, always have a good Oxford University um, dictionary because it helps you along the way to understand some harder words that could be used in your story. In my book sh- shelf, like around there, I should have my 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 dictionary, and then I have the children's book dictionary because I'm planning to do a um, a mixture of a teen, a little bit of possessive from age seven to age twelve, and. It's going to be a chapter book, but it's going to be more like a novella, but for kids. So, for them, it'll be like a short little book of chapters for just this type of elementary elementary school kids. Hold on, guys. I love public eyes. Kiffy. I wish this worked on my computer because they are so cute. Focus, focus. And they're like a uh, orangey pinkish. Anyways, back to designing, back to being a writer to an author. When you when you want to be an author, look around you. Search in the Google section or search in social media all the authors that you like 
and all the authors that you don't like. And write a pro and cons list and put it together and see what can you use that matches with your your hope of writing. Okay, number two. Editing while writing. Don't do it. When you write the first draft, that's it. It's writing the first draft. Don't edit along the way because then you're going to confuse yourself even more. And then you'll never finish the book on time. Always have a deadline too. That's number three. C3. Have a deadline. Have a deadline to remind you that it's a regular job that improves you to to like it. And if you can find it on yourself to do just that, then what's the point? Okay. Number four, there's designing, and then there's art. Art and designing are kind of the same thing, except designing comes with digital design, and art is everything above, like writing, drawing, painting, sculpting, many ways even artistic ways as in being an artist as a songwriter as a as a writer who is an author and that author wrote that song because let me let me move this hold on writers write while singers sing that's a little quote that I came up with. I never heard nobody had that make make that that beautiful quote, so I made it myself. Yeah, we were at number four, right? Yeah, number four. Number four is get that journal of art and put it together with digital design. So when you you want to design your own book cover for your story, you'll be ready. But if you don't want to do that, you can always hire a freelancer on Fiverr and Upwork for them to design you a nice book cover to go with the story that you're going to publish on KDP, Lulu, Barnes & Noble, Google Play, Nook, um, Apple, and so on. Thank you. What else should I say? Oh, number five. Number five is use something to take away all that negative energy. Like meditation. Always meditate in the morning and at night. You don't have to do it for 30 second, 30 minutes. I mean, I was about to say seconds. <laughs> but I corrected myself right there. 30 minutes. You don't have to do 30 minutes. You could just do 15 minutes or 10. Each time that you start your day. And when you want to end your day, do a little bit of meditation for 10 minutes. And then you can progress to 5 more minutes. Or you could just stop it right there. Because meditation helps you focus more. If it wasn't for that, all our ideas will be jumbled around and made into a mess. So, 
my vision board and my computer is my inspiration to go by it and introduce my own twists and turns to to working hard. I've been applying for jobs, but it's really hard. So right now I'm just focusing on my books and if I get a call from a job and they hire me, I can use that for, for my books. Cause I have to get the bulk of them, get a bulk of books and start selling them by book signing them, book signing them, sending them to their homes. And remember, shipping is not free. So you guys have to pay shipping too, so I could have enough to, to send it to you guys. I accept Puerto Rico, I accept, I think Australia. But I put all of, all of the book everywhere, so they can. Of course, there's United States. Of course, there's Canada. But Canada is expensive. Anyways. Thank you for watching me. And I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed my talk with, you know, you all. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.